Well, there we have it. After months of deceit and deception, yeah. the pathetic spectacle of a man who's run out of road. Yeah. His defence, his defence, that he didn't realise he was at a party. <laughs> it, it, it is so ridiculous that it's actually offensive to the British public. He's finally been forced to admit what everyone knew, that when the whole country was locked down, he was hosting boozy parties in Downing Street. Is he now going to do the decent thing and resign? I, I, I regret, I regret the way uh, the event I have described uh, was handled. I bitterly uh, regret it and wish that we could have done things differently. And I have uh, and will continue to apologise for what we did. But, Mr Speaker, he must wait uh, for the uh, inquiry, which will report as soon as possible. Keir Starmer. Mr Speaker, when the Prime Minister's former Health Secretary broke the rules, he resigned. Yes. Yes. And the Prime Minister said he was right to do so. When the Prime Minister's spokesperson laughed about the rules being broken, she resigned, yeah. Yeah. and the Prime Minister accepted that resignation. Why does the Prime Minister still think that the rules don't apply to him? Yeah. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, that's not what I've said, and I, 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 understand, I understand the point that he, uh, that he makes. Uh, I, as I've said, Mr Speaker, I uh, regret uh, the way things happened on the evening in question. Uh, and I apologise, but if I may say to him, I do think it would be better if he waited until the full conclusion of the inquiry, until the full facts are brought uh, before this House, Mr Speaker, and he will then have an opportunity uh, to put his points again. This just isn't working, Prime Minister. Everyone can see what happened. It started with reports of boozy parties in Downing Street during lockdown. The Prime Minister pretended that he had been assured there were no parties. Yeah. How that fits with this defence out, I do not know. Exactly. Then the video landed, blowing the Prime Minister's first defence out of the water. So then he pretended he pretended he was sickened and furious about the parties. Now it turns out he was at the parties all along. Yeah. Can't the Prime Minister see why the British public think he's lying through his teeth? Yeah. 